six feet tall. Now they have to be that tall in order to reach our mothers for nutrients. Now out of a 24 hour day period, uh, giraffes only sleep about 30 minutes. Yeah, really no more, no less than that. That's it. Uh, they actually sleep standing up as a defense mm -hmm. mechanism yeah. they have against okay, their well, so for the uh, They can lay down, but when they do lay down, uh, they're, not gonna, they're not going to go to sleep. Oh, he's getting all offended because of the female driver like and all this other stuff. Like, so predators, you know, they know that as an easy attack. So know, that's huh? why when they do lay why down, they're awake offended. and aware. Right. Now, giraffes can also run at 35 miles per hour. the female drivers are bad. Only for the short distances. They hire the ones that want to drive But they fastest. can cruise at a steady mm, 10 saying. miles an hour. But that's okay. I'm for not a couple hours it. at a time. Let's see. I don't see many animals over here. Now, I do see this road is closed. I usually take this road. Uh, but maybe that's a good reason why it's closed because there's no road left. And that's a very big ditch. These trucks can definitely not make that. So let's take the shortcut. Let's try. Who knows what we might find? Something new every day here in the Rarami's Reserve. It's oh, well, I don't like the looks of this bridge. It's very old. Not really safe to drive over, but guess what? We're still going to drive like over anyway. Festive. So uh, <laughs> stay seated. Crash your feet. Hold on to something. So here we go. That does not sound very good. Oh no, everybody lean to the right. Lean, lean to the right. Okay, That's pretty cool. Yeah, right. I like that. I like that. You had to go to the right. <laughs> well, luckily for us, uh, all the wheels are back on the ground. Because, you know, you had to go to the right. You said you went to the left. But anyways, now I do feel really sorry for that next trip to go over. Uh, probably won't be as well as what we did, but it could have been taller, right? Means no worries. If we hear a large crash, though, uh, we're just gonna hightail it out of here. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I know we've now been hightailing enough. So far. <laughs> just a bunch of plants. Aren't they beautiful? They're all green and leafy. Sometimes if the wind hits them just right, they move. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Why is it that you want to be called banana? Let's see. Oh, there's an elephant right over there on the left hand side. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, so there's two female elephants. Uh, we know that they're they're little, 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 little but <laughs> we know that they're females uh, because they're small. They're not small. I mean, they're weighing 11 tons, but uh, yeah, they're not really small. But compared to males, they are very small. And uh, males actually reach weights up to 14 tons. That is 14,000 pounds, making them the largest and heaviest land animals in the world. Now these female elephants are right behind males. These guys are probably about weighing 11 tons each. 11 tons each. Yeah. So, but we know they're females because they are very close to each other. Uh, male elephants, they're not really, uh, they're the complete opposite of females. Let's just put it that way. Female elephants are very social creatures. They love to be around other, other elephants, friends and family. Now this is probably a mother and daughter calf, or a mother and daughter pair. Uh, so that one that we see right there, the larger one, that's obviously a mother-like figure. And this this one right here, uh, next to that baobab tree, is significantly not significantly, but she is a lot small, smaller. So yeah. now their or their their um, their noses, their trunks. That's what they're called. Their trunks. Uh, their trunks can pull, or they have about 11, no, 100,000 muscles. Right? Their hum uh, the human body only contains about 600 muscles. So they outstrength us by a lot in just their trunks. Now on this island right here, these are the greater flamingos. They are the lightest shade of pink. Now they get their pink coloration from their diet of small brine shrimp. But it takes a lot of that brine shrimp to turn their feathers completely pink. So before then, when they're born, they're actually born all gray. It takes about two years for their feathers to start turning pink. Yeah, to start turning pink. Uh, some of them, uh, that was a ringer. <laughs> for some of them, it takes them about six to seven years to turn completely pink. Yeah. So it has to take a lot of that shrimp. Now these antelopes coming up right over here, uh, these are two special antelopes to us because these are the box. Uh, the 
Honda box are on the left hand side and that is a water buck on the right hand side. So that font, or that water buck right over there, uh, the water bucks are unusual antelopes because they drink such a large amount of water. And they don't really migrate in the fear of moving too far away from the water source. All right, now these Bonta box, they are 100% extinct out in the world, or in the wild. 100% out in the wild. There are no more in their natural habitats. Literally, at one point in time, there were less than 20 of them. At one point in time in the world, there was less than 20. Now, luckily for us, uh, some farmers out in Africa saved these, saved whatever Bonta box were left. They saved them on their own personal properties. Oh, there's a cheetah right over there. There's two of the cheetahs Ooh. laying down right over there on the left-hand side, just just behind the behind oh, those yeah, logs. I see them. Yeah. Way back there. The cheetahs yeah. are one of the fastest land animals. Uh, they can sprint speeds up to about 60 miles per hour. Now they're one of the only larger cats that have retractable claws. Now they'll pull out their claws when they're running those speeds. So that way they can get better traction on the ground. Kind of like how athletes use a little athletes use cleats. Kind of give you guys a better uh, understanding of why they do that. Now going back to the Bonta box, um, if it wasn't for those farmers, that animal species would definitely be 100% extinct. So we do have the farmers to think. Luckily for us, some researchers have been able to rebreed them successfully. So now there's a couple hundred of them, of them left, uh, but they're all living their lives on protected lands like the reserve. So luckily for us, we were able to have not one, but two of them. Now this ginormous rock formation right here, this is called a cope. And yes, that is a male lion on the second tallest rock. It's a Simba. Yep, that is a male lion. See, now lions love cope rocks because they have such a high advantage point over their prey. Now, if you guys kind of understand what I just said, they have a high advantage point over their prey. We're sitting down a little bit lower. <laughs> but luckily for us, uh, lions don't hunt during the daylight time. Uh, they Sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. They do their hunting at night uh, because right after yeah. dusk that's when all their prey goes to the bed see that you know, they settle down there, for that. so luckily right for there. us uh she's just chilling there uh yeah uh honestly don't know i know oh there's, there's a second on one the laying down on the on the rock so Ooh. Jen? yeah now these two uh, these are the two lions that we have to fear yeah, female lions are the ones that go out at night to do the hunting Ooh, oh tired now they do sleep about 6 to 20 hours of the day yeah, but it's just now, the female lions you know, are the ones that we do have to fear, but if we step foot on that Kofi rock, then we have to answer to the big man up there, because he's the one who protects their territory, and if there are any around, he'll protect his cubs as well. So, out at night on the savannah, uh, we have to worry about the females, but once we step foot on that Kofi rock, mm -mm, then we have to answer to the big man. Well, that's why we keep it friendly on us. I see. Yep. Well, Everybody knows the name Simba, right? Because we've all seen the movie Lion King, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Well, did you all know that you've been speaking Swahili? What? Seriously, not joking. Uh, Simba, Simba and the Swahili word means uh, lion. So every time that you say Simba, you've been saying lion. And I ain't lying about that. Uh, so this, this ginormous animal right over here, this is a white rhino. White oh, rhinos, yeah. double the size of black rhinos. So this this rhino right here alone is weighing about 5,000 pounds. Yeah, 5,000 pounds. And again, it can run at 35 miles per hour. Yeah. 